Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Pashvika, the channel where we make videos about making money online as a creative person, as an artist. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a bunting flags in the Zazzle because uh, I think this is one of the most difficult product created on a Zazzle because it has almost like 16 layers and working with the layers may be tricky if you are completely new on a Zazzle and you don't know how to work with the layers and how to add it every single layer and that before go back consider clicking that button guys i do appreciate that if you want more such video future consider subscribing hit the bell icon whenever i'll gonna upload new videos you're gonna get notified about it also guys we have a lot of free resources to help you make more money the links are in description box below you can very well grab the zazzle workbook planner that will going to help you uh get and set your store for making money with the zazzle it's entirely based on my experience and knowledge so far it's kind of like a planner guys okay above there are the instructions and below there is a blank spaces where you can write about your own shop about your own uh particular store uh it helped me to become zazzle pro seller currently i'm a zazzle bronze pro seller so it's in the description box below thing really personal over here two days back only i uploaded a video talking about i become a zazzle pro bronze seller and i get a lot of the comments from you guys uh congratulating me and i'm extremely grateful about it thank you so much guys for your beautiful comments i really appreciate that but one of the comment i received was regarding that uh we can't find your store on zazzle now in the video in that video i showed my designer creative profile name only i didn't share my store name and then i was talking with that person in the comments and that person was asking me that there are so many fake stories out there and there are so many people who are faking it and i truly get that there are so many stuffs that are faking it and you really want to see the proof and then only you need to believe in but uh i really get that as well and also guys i'm going to tell you that personally i'm not okay with sharing my store name and profile and link it's not because uh i'm a fake person it's because that i don't feel comfortable because uh, all these designs that i create it's my own particular form of artwork and i don't want them to be copied or, or i don't want any scamming or something like that because i've seen personally uh some of the artist friends who have actually shared their links in the social media and their designs have been copied and then they run into the issue on that particular platform and personally i don't want that issue for me so that's why i'm not sharing that i know the people fake the income reports i really get that but i can't share it because of this particular reason and i do sell it on multiple different platforms and i want to keep the things private over here more personal because of my reason that i've already mentioned and also due to the personal reason hopefully you're going to understand that and i hope you don't take my stories as a fake story because i don't really fake it i know it's hard to believe me but hopefully you're going to believe me even if you don't believe me that's okay <laughs> i don't feel bad about it because it's completely normal it's completely okay for people to actually have a doubts about watching the online content that's completely normal so it's okay if you don't believe me i truly get that hopefully in the future you're going to believe me and if you believe me right now then i'm so grateful about it thank you so much for believing in my story and hopefully you guys can correlate with this particular thing that why i'm not sharing my creative fabric up profile name or store name or t public store or zazzle store the channel is not about me showing my income reports this is not that channel this channel is basically i started for actually helping the creative people to know what are the different avenues in which they can make money online like they don't need to actually go with the private galleries and signing for the galleries for selling their work as an artist or the creative person they can make themselves money and become a full time artist by selling online that's what the purpose of this channel and that's what the purpose of my global art magazine that's my brand and that's my company that's channel is not about how much to make or something like that the channel is about introducing you to different ways and actually talking about those things based on my experience and also conveying the right message that it's not a quick fix uh, it's not a rich overnight money making scheme it will definitely going to take some time in fact i can tell you that the things that i thought that i'll going to reach in 6 months or in a year it took me a little bit more time the channel itself like i thought i'll going to get monetized my youtube channel within a year but i didn't monetize within a year it took me like almost uh, almost one and a half year and more than that to get my channel monetized so sometimes we think that we were going to reach that particular goal in a few uh, few months or in a year and we don't really reach that and that's okay that's completely normal that's what the purpose of this channel is to show you the real stuff because 
people are telling that hey you're gonna make one million dollar in six months by doing this and that i want to tell you that those may be the scam or maybe real again i'm not sure but it's will going to take some time and sometimes it takes more time than you ever think it would be exactly making every single month i want to keep all those things more private due to the personal reason and i don't want to actually showcase everything in the online space to the public because me being myself an introvert you really get that if you are an introvert like me you want to keep the things more private rather than in the public and you want to share your knowledge but you want to keep certain things in the private as well for only for you because of your nature because of some safety reasons so that's what the privacy factor comes here that's why i'm not sharing hopefully you get it guys so enough of me talking now let's get into the laptop and i'm gonna talk about the vendic flag so okay guys we are currently on the zazzle you can very well see i've actually on been on zazzle now I'm going to show you how to make your own bunting flags on the Zazzle. So let's just sign into your designer dashboard and we will going to quickly move forward. You can very well sign up but I'm not going to be signing up. I've actually clicked over to that plus icon and I'm going to just create a product without actually signing in. So here this particular stuff comes when you click over to the create option from the Zazzle home page itself. Now you can select the individual product whichever one you want to select. I'm going to scroll down quickly and I'm going to go and search over here the bunting flags and we were going to simply click ok and now you can see the two bunting flags are popping up the this particular shape that's called as the snowfall kind of like pattern another one was a triangle you can select whatever shape you want to select but i'm gonna select this one because it has a lot of the stuffs it's called as a swallowtail pattern type of shape and that was a triangle okay so i'm gonna click over to the option the add image so while we are very well into the Zazzle designer dashboard, once you click over to the image, the add image, now you can very well upload your own files on the upload option. Since I haven't signed into the my own designer dashboard, so I don't see any files over here in the my files option, but you can very well upload the files which you, the files which you want to upload. Uh, you can use the text option, other different options, and you can very well see it has almost like 16 layers. So I've selected the first layer and here since it's related to the Christmas, I'm going to be writing like a Merry Christmas is all the 16 ones. So in the first one, I'm going to be writing a capital M or you can just write uh, in every other layer a similar thing. So I'm actually typing the capital M and for this first layer. So here, here, so here we are with the capital M since the Merry Christmas. So M started with that. That's the first layer. Now you can change the font. You can increase or decrease the font. Choose a different color. Add a different stuff over here. There is a lot of the stuff you could do. I'm just going to keep the thing simple because the purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to design in the 16 different layers that Bunting Flag has. Now I'm going to move over to the second layer. I have actually copied the first text layer from the first layer and pasted it on the second one. Here I'm going to keep it as the E. So here it's the E. Now I'm going to be going over to the third layer and I'm going to be pasting this particular text option away in the third layer and then i'm going to be adding these texts to the r so i'm going to keep it as a capital r over here and simply click ok now i'm going to go over to the fourth layer here i'm going to again type over the again i'm going to pasting that text layer editing them to again a capital r over here and click ok now i'm going to go over to the another layer that's the fifth layer i guess yes i'm going to be pasting it again then i'm going to be editing the text and this why it would be the capital y so it's kind of like a mary in five first layers now in the sixth layer i'm going to come over here and i'm going to quickly paste that again i'm going to be editing the text over here so this time i'm going to keep it as a c capital c that's for the christmas and then I'm going to go over to the seventh layer. I'm going to go be pasting the text layer over here again. It would be H, capital H. Okay. And I'm going to go over to the eighth layer. This one, it would be having an R. That would be the capital R. So I'm going to be editing this text and replacing with the capital R. Here we are. Okay. Again, I'm going to go over to the uh, ninth layer. Here I'm going to be pasting again the text options. So this time it would be I, capital I. You can, you get the point, right guys? How you can actually can do and add the stuff over here. Again, we are with the 10th layer. So I'm going to be pasting the text over again. Now this time it would be, I guess, C-R-I-S. The capital S would be there. And then again, I'm going to go over to the 11th layer. That would be the capital T. Again, I'm going to be pasting text over here. Then I'm going to be adding this text with the capital T. So let's quickly do that. So 
now again going back to the 12th layer pasting the text layer again this time it would be the capital m only <laughs> okay so that we don't need to add it did. then i'm gonna go over to the 13th layer this time it would be capital a the christmas the spelling okay then 14th layer it would be the capital s so here i'm pasting i'm gonna add it to capital s over here now you could see the last two layers the 15th and the 16th are kind of like empty because we have finished with the Merry Christmas in our first 14 uh, layers and what we were going to do in the next two layers that the 15th and 16th layers. So what you could do, you could add a different stuff in the 15th or 16th layer or you could actually keep the gap between the layers. So what I'm going to do over here, I'm going to see how I can actually adjust these both last layers of 15 and 16 which are kind of like an empty. So what I did guys in the 15th layer, I actually placed the capital S the text layer so what i'm gonna do in the first layer i'm gonna remove that capital m of the mary and i'm gonna add it the text so i'm gonna just keep the second layer as capital m so a kind of like i'm, I'm just a taking back the letters from the first layer so that they actually finish at the 15th layer so we have the fourth and the 16th layer is empty so i'm gonna quickly add it those layers now i haven't counted them in the beginning how much is the like what is the spelling and what are the different letters in the merry christmas so that's why i have to do this editing stuff you could very well count the letters of the uh, whatever thing you want to type over the bunting flags and then adjust according to it so what i'm doing i'm keeping the fourth and the 16th layer empty and starting with the merry christmas the capital m from the second flag that is the second layer and then i'm actually uh, editing every single uh, flags or every single layers as i'm going with the merry christmas spelling so I'm going to quickly do that and let's show you how it's actually going to do. Guys, I'm kind of like a done with that. Now I'm actually uh, done it and you can see how it's actually looking like. The first and the 16th layer or flag, whatever you call it, is empty and rest I've written the Merry Christmas. So Merry Christmas is kind of like a continuation. So you need to count the number of the flags and then you need to count the letters that's there, whether it's Happy Birthday or Happy Anniversary or Merry Christmas or Happy Halloween, whatever the case is, you need to count the letters and then you need to see how you're going to adjust in every single layer those particular uh, letters, okay? So the first and the last flag or first and the last layer is empty, so I'm going to keep it as a red color, so I'm choosing the first color i'm gonna choose the first layer color or first flag layer is a red and likewise i'm gonna do with the uh, 16th flag with this uh, again with the red color because i want to keep it as a red color over here because red i actually designate the christmas so what i keep well, so what i did <laughs> i've actually chosen the 16th layers so again i have to go back and again i have to go back and select the first layer i haven't added the background so i'm going to be keeping as the background is a red over here so boom we have the red over here so you could see the first and the 16th layer has a red color as in a background and rest all the layers have the letter that's a merry christmas of course you can write the uh, you of course you can add the background in these layers as well now what i'm going to do i'm going to select individual layers of the text layers and then i'm going to be actually making them as a template on the right hand side i'm actually clicking that toggle button and keeping it on to making my uh, object as a template so people can very well write their own text over here if they don't want the uh, merry christmas they can very well type whatever they want to type over here so i'm going to quickly do that for all the uh for all the 14 flags or 14 layers so let me just do that for okay guys we are kind of like a finish with a merry christmas bunting flag please don't make the mistake which i did like i actually didn't count it how many letters are there in the merry christmas word and i was just arranging from the fourth layer and then i reached to the 14th layer i left with the two layers the two flags at the 15 and 16 and then i don't know how to do it and then i have to actually go back and add it every single layer so don't repeat that mistake which i did personally what you have to do whatever the spellings or whatever the words you're using and arranging them in these 16 flags just count the letters how many uh, word that has how many letters that particular word has and then arrange it according to it so we are done with a simple very simple merry christmas the fourth and the 16th one is kind of like a red background and rest all are having the individual letter as the merry christmas it's looking pretty simple pretty straightforward hopefully you find this tutorial useful please don't repeat the mistake which i did once you're done with that simply click over to the button sell it and then add the title tag description and select all the stuffs and boom your merry christmas bunting flag is live on the chris is live on the sazzle 
and yeah guys that's it for today's tutorial hopefully you find this tutorial useful let me know what you think in the comment section below do you have any video requests guys i would really love to hear from you let me know in the comment section below if you have any video requests thank you so much for tuning in today's tutorial i'll get to see you in the next one until then take care bye guys